Finally, after years of boring console streams, we have a fix. We can finally have overlays, no share play, no OBS, no Streamlabs, just one simple plugin straight from Twitch, straight from your computer. And it doesn't have to be a good computer, just a little laptop. This will put overlays over your stream, whether you're streaming from your phone, Xbox, or PlayStation. So let's get right into it. All right, first thing you wanna do, you wanna come over to Twitch, Make sure you're logged into your profile and you want to come over to your creator dashboard. Once you get in here, you'll come over to your extensions. You can search. It's called Overlay Expert. Or mine came up right here. It definitely always pops up around the trending. You might just have to search for it. Overlay Expert. So go ahead and give that an install. Once it's installed, it'll probably give you like a configure or something. If not, just come back to your extensions and it'll be right here. And you want to go to the settings for it. And now you really just have a choice to make. You can, these are some that I've made. You can just pick any of these and edit them you can select them as they are like if you just want one of these but in this video we're going to make one from scratch i'm actually going to include a couple free things down in the description for you to download and use but also at this point you could go into photoshop illustrator or some other design app or something just watch any youtube video on how to create an overlay or google search for a twitch overlay png anything like that so you can either just choose one, which it's gonna ask for beta testers only. We'll get to this step in a minute. But either choose one or customize it. I'm gonna choose to do one from scratch. Uh, that's the one we're gonna make, so let's discard it. So it's gonna say, welcome to the builder. I would recommend hitting yes on this. It'll walk you through all the tools and kind of how to use it because this thing can be a little confusing. But once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. For this video, I'm gonna say no. Yours will probably look a little zoomed in, so go over here to view, and click fit to window. So let's go ahead and add our overlay, either one you've gotten off of Google or the one you've downloaded from my video, or you can pick one from here. So let's ignore all this 1920 by 1080, which you can select your resolution. I recommend 1080. Let's add a new layer. This is where it starts getting a little confusing. You have background, size, alerts, content. Right now, let's just focus on background. Select. Now you can select any of these. Like if you select this one, we'll just resize it. So you can always resize it and come down over here underneath your picture and select fit to layer, fill layer, stretch, or the default sometimes doesn't fit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the one that I've created for this video. So what you'll do is either you'll come right here to the upload button and you'll either select the one you've downloaded from me or the one you created I'm gonna select this one here and then it'll pop up right here and you just click on it and boom there you go it'll make it the full screen because when it starts it'll probably be something like this so to make sure that it fits design your overlay the dimensions 1920 by 1080 to make sure that it fits or like i said you can come over here and select fit to layer but i'll leave it on default now we'll close this background tab. You can't see it, but this text is still up here. You can see a little bit of it. And that's gonna be in the content section. Here's where you edit text. You select the font, the size, the color, all this good stuff. And it's kind of hidden, but where it says new content item, layer text groups, this section is where you actually edit the text. So you click on that. This looks confusing. We'll get to it in just a second but this is actually where you edit what you want to say. 
We're gonna backspace and get rid of that so it's not on our layer. Hit that check mark and then hit the check mark again. And now we're back to the starting screen. And we have our layer here called new panel, which if you wanted to, you click back on it, and rename it to our overlay. Hit that check mark and then we're back in our starting screen again. Now, just to show off some of the features, really, I encourage you to watch the tutorial on this and to figure a lot of things out on your own because I don't know all about this yet. But let's add a new layer. Let's just leave it as text. We'll come down to the content box here. This is powered by Google Fonts. So if you want to, you can come over here, search Google Fonts. and any of these fonts are available. So you just wanna say hello or something. You can pick which font you like and then just remember the name of it and you can search it. I already know for this tutorial, I wanna use Open Sans. So I'll type Open and select Open Sans. Now color, you don't get to select color. You actually have to figure out the code for colors white is going to be hashtag fff fff six f's i know that's weird but you can come over to google of course do color codes go to a website like this and see how white is fff you want this orange ff2 all this <laughs> You're just going to have to search for that on your own, but I want white. I want the weight to be bold. And remember this down here is where you edit what you want to type. Let's make it say, be sure and follow. Like the check mark. Um, I think I like everything else here. You can make the size bigger or smaller. Let's take it down to 35. Hit the check mark. And we're going to put that. If you just click on it and drag it, you might have to click it twice. Let's we'll see if we can get that right up there. All right. It disappeared when I clicked off of it. Oh, because I clicked on our main layer. If that happens, don't freak out. You're probably on your overlay layer. There's my phone. Go hit check mark and see there it is right there. So that looks good, but something I like to do is you can actually resize it. And if the text doesn't fit in the box, it'll have a cool scrolling effect. So make the box a little bit too small. And now you have this cool scrolling effect. Be sure and follow. Come over here to the description. Just name this text so we know what's going on. So you can add as many of those as you like. And now I'm gonna show you some other things you can do with text. Looks a little bit more complicated, but it's not that bad. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna click add a new layer. Didn't do anything, let's click it again. There it goes. We're gonna name this layer alerts are just alert. We're gonna make this our follow alert. So let's go to the alert selection. This is where you can decide if you want just regular text, like our be sure and follow to always show up or have it show up at a certain time or event base. Event based is gonna be when you get a follow or something like that. So we'll click event based. Then right underneath that, select the event. Now you can do any of these, it's pretty cool. Even Patreon plugins are in here. But for this, we're just gonna do Twitch follow. You can choose a sound. I'm not gonna choose a sound right now. But then this right here, entry and exit, is gonna be your transitions. They have a ton of those, it's really cool. You have to turn the preview on to see. We'll do swap and then bomb right out. Let's see what this looks like. 
Space out right. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna come in like that. Okay, let's turn off our preview. Peak is gonna be how many seconds you want it to stay on the screen. I would recommend doing 800 because it's in milliseconds. That's gonna be eight seconds that it'll stay on the screen. Cooldown, I assume, is how many like seconds between it just rolling back to back. So I'd put maybe 500, five seconds between each follow. All right, so we've got all this set up. You're gonna close this tab and then we're gonna come over to content. And then your font, type in whichever one you decided. I'm gonna go back to open sans. I'm gonna make sure it's back on the bold font. And we're gonna get it white again, which is six Fs. Hashtag FFF, FFF. Come down here to your layer text groups, new content item, click on it. Now this is where you'll see it's a little different. Let's say, um, I'm just gonna say new follower. You can type new follower, you can type welcome to the crew, whatever you want, and then make your selection. Since we set this up as an alert for recent follow on Twitch, this very top section is gonna have an alert, follow, display name. So you'll just click that. And now automatically when you get a new follower, it'll fill their name in right there. So you might want to stretch this out a little bit, unless you want it to pop up and do this scrolling effect here. So close out of this, close the content section, go to alert, put this maybe right here in the middle, preview our transition one more time. Now that text by itself doesn't look that bad, but if you want, I've included in the description a download for a background or you can create one yourself. So this is what I included in the background. Again, you're gonna have to make it full screen to be able to find it. There it is. We've got our text is now jumped to the top left. So let's close this background, come back to our content. Go all the way down here. Under our layer text groups, down here, content alignment with layer. I'm gonna wanna change this one to center. And the vertical also to center. And now we've got it right here. So to make sure that it doesn't overhang when your follower name is added in there. You might wanna take your size down to maybe like 35 or so. Scroll back up and close this content layer and let's check our transition. Go to alerts, preview transition, your follower, and it'll automatically put their name there for us. So the possibilities with this are endless. You can add, uh, let's close this layer. So we have our alert. It disappeared because you see it's event based. So it's only gonna be there when we get a follower. So let's add a layer just to show you what the possibilities are with this. Let's go down to content, it's text. Let's go down to our layer text groups, new content items, click here. And this is all the different things that you can put up there. So let's take away new content item. And for example, we can do a timer, our Twitch handle, our follows, recent follows. <laughs> this is what I did on my brothers. You can just do recent followers, so you're giving your followers an incentive. 
you can have these down at the bottom you can have them scrolling you can have it up here you gotta change the color but there's so many things you could do you can come up here and backspace change it to a timer and this will show how long you've been live I'm actually recording through OBS right now so I guess I've been recording for that long which means this is gonna be a pain to edit but curious let's see if we can change the timer text you can that's pretty cool so see I don't even know all the ins and out of this yet but the possibilities are endless so let's say we're just gonna leave it like this we've got our alert a timer close out of this let's come over here and title this welcome as our overlay we've got overlay the text the alert this new panel we didn't rename is our timer and we'll just come over here and click file save so now when you go live on twitch you're gonna come over here activate set as overlay one it's now active but what you want to make sure is you've selected the overlay you want so like i said at the beginning of this video if you want just pick one of these easy as that i'm pretty sure they already have uh alerts attached to them this one you can see has zero subscribers kind of a counter these are some i've made so you won't see those pop up but here's our welcome you're just going to hit choose on whichever one you want hit choose and then it's going to ask or it's going to tell you beta beta testers only so what you're going to do is click on this link scroll down and sign up for the beta when you click this link it's just going to ask you some questions the main thing you want to make sure you do is right here put the correct twitch username if you're making this for your little brother or even for a client or something make sure you use their twitch username because that's what they'll check and make sure that it all works out so once you do that you'll be set up and ready to go so i hope that made sense i know it's a lot to cover it can be a little confusing i'm still learning the program this extension is pretty new they have a Discord that you can join. And I joined it and was asking questions and getting replies back immediately. So I'll link that down below. If you have any questions, jump in that Discord. If everything works out for you and you got a cool new overlay, join the Discord anyway and let the developer know that you really like the program. You can also comment here if you have any questions. Be sure and subscribe for more content like this. Hope to get your console streams looking great. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. <coughs>